Hi everyone, I'm Wei Shen Lai from UC Merced. This work is about comparative evaluation of blind motion deburring. In recent years, many algorithms have been proposed to handle blind motion deburring. To evaluate the performance, existing dataset either use the convolution model to synthesize uniformly blurred images, or use a robotic arm to capture print photos in a lab setting. However, real-world blurred images are much more complicated. For example, the syntax variation, nonlinear camera response function, saturation, and compression artifact are common factors in real images, but they are not considered in previous dataset. So in this work, we provide the first large-scale performance evaluation of blind motion debris algorithm on real-world blurred images. We first collect a dataset of 100 real blurred images from different sources, and we conduct user study and a comparative analysis to understand the relative strength of state-of-the-art algorithms. In our user study, we show two images side by side and ask users to select which one looks better. We evaluate totally 14 methods on 100 blurred images, and we collect the user votes from around 2,000 human subjects on Amazon Mechanical Turk. To obtain the full ranking, we need to convert the pairwise comparison to a real value scores. So we use the Bradley Terry model to convert user vote to the BT score. And we can get the full ranking of each method from the cumulative frequency of the BT score. We also conduct a baseline user study on synthetic dataset for both uniform and non-uniform blur images. And we show the scatter plot of the BT score between real and synthetic dataset to understand the performance difference among datasets. We also compute a correlation between human subject score and the several image quality metrics, including full reference and no reference metrics. From our analysis, we provide four observations. First, the methods using sparse gradient and intensity prior are usually more robust than edge-based methods on handling real blur images. Second, Many algorithms fail to deburr images if there are too many outliers they are not considered in the image formulation models. Third, the performance of current state-of-the-art algorithm is already saturated on the synthetic dataset, and the performance on synthetic dataset does not reflect the performance on real blur images. Finally, for evaluation on synthetic images, IFC and BIF are better than PSNR and SSIM. For no reference metrics, none of the existing metrics are good enough for real blur images. So in conclusion, we provide the first large-scale comparative analysis of blind motion deburring algorithm on real-world blur images. We evaluate the progress of this field and identify potential directions for future research. Our code and dataset are available on our project website. If you're interested in more details, please come to our poster in session 22. Thanks for your attention.